Hi everybody, in this video I would like to show you the dinghy centerboard. Hello everyone, in this part of the video series I would like to show you how I designed and made the dinghy centerboard. I wanted to have a foldable centerboard to make slipping easier and have a trim option for the lateral center of gravity. The daggerboard can be folded in so that it no longer protrudes from the bottom of the hull. The centerboard box is so high that no water can run into the cockpit due to static pressure, but the centerboard protrudes beyond the upper edge of the centerboard box when folded in. This is because I wanted to have a low centerboard case for better changing of the crew position. Later, a piece of rubber will be fitted here to reduce the incoming spray water. In the setup and folded position, the upper bolt, uh, which will be drilled into the tip of the daggerboard later, rests on the edge of the centerboard box. The centerboard was laminated from 20 mm thick and approximately 10 cm wide parts of ash wood that were sawn out of several boards on the table saw. The strips were then spread out on a plastic sheet on a work table and the edges were covered with epoxy thickened like honey. The top side was then also covered with the foil. As I don't have any body clamps, I fixed a board on each side of the table and pressed the strips together. Plates and weights were placed on the strips to prevent the wood from warping. The dried board was then smoothed with 60 grit and roughly cut to the dimensions of the dagger board. The contours and positions of the drill holes were then drawn onto the panel using my CNC plotter. The outer contour was then cut out using a jigsaw. In order to bevel the rear edge of the centerboard evenly, the centerboard was then clamped onto my scarf joint jig and the edges were cut at an angle of approximately 5 degrees with the table saw. The resulting corners were then rounded off with a hand plane and a eccentric grinder. All other edges were rounded with a router to a radius of 9 mm and then sanded by hand. Each side of the board was then coated with a 160 grams per square meters glass fiber body fabric. This was glued around the front edge of the board so that the two mats overlap here. A peel ply was then rolled onto each side of the board. The protruding fabric was then cut off and everything was sanded again with 120 grit. In order to drill the hole for the dagger board bearing orthogonally, a piece of wood was drilled with a 11mm hole on the drill stand. This piece of wood was then placed onto the center board as a drilling aid. As with the rudder, a bronze sleeve was glued into the hole. As the sleeve had some play in the hole, the drilling aid was used again for orthogonal positioning, this time for the sleeve. The board was then coated twice wet on wet with unthickened epoxy. I decided not to paint it so that I could see any damage and easily repair it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye, Jake.